Hi, in this video, we're going to be looking at traditional English Christmas foods. Today, we have some delicious sweet desserts to enjoy and to tell you about. I can't wait. What's first, Martin? So, first, right in the centre of the table, we have some mince pies. That's these guys, and I'd like to show one to the camera. So, they're called mince pies because inside they contain mince meat, but it's not actually minced meat, it's spiced fruit. Okay, so the name mince pies and minced meat comes from the history. This is where hundreds of years ago, in fact, in the 13th century, travellers and crusaders coming back from the Middle East brought this recipe of meat and fruit and spices back to England. And that's where we get this recipe and this name. Can I eat it now? Yes. <laughs> Make Thank sure you. you enjoy it. Thanks. I'm going to eat this mince pie cold, although you can warm them up. And they're good like that too. So here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. So while Adrian is enjoying that mince pie, and I know he is enjoying it, I'll tell you about the spices which we commonly taste in the mince pie. We have a delicious cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg mixture. So it has a very warm, very rich, delicious taste. And there's no meat in the modern recipe. It's just dried fruits and uh, a delicious pastry. It's very, very sweet. Very sweet, quite rich, full of flavour. And now I need a sip of tea. So Adrian is going to have a cup of tea. Let me show you some traditional English Christmas cake. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Here it is on this side, traditional English Christmas cake. Now, will you be taking a slice, Martin? I will have a slice. And while I have a slice, can you tell us what's inside? I'd love to. So essentially, there's a fruitcake base. Will you turn it around? Hold it up. Thank you, Martin. I was going to say, please turn the cake around. I'll do this. And just so that you get a better view, I'll um, take a bit as well and have a nibble. It's a fruitcake base with raisins, sultanas, orange peel, lemon peel inside. And then there's icing on the top on a marzipan layer. So it smells lovely. Some people put rum or brandy in the cake. Although I can't smell that in this one. Let me try it. Mm. It's delicious. Mm. It's very filling. It's very dense. It's very sweet. And you can enjoy all the fruit flavours. And this is something that if you make it at home, you can make it three or four weeks ahead of Christmas and the flavour just gets better, the flavour just gets richer and richer. It's something that I think young and old in England really enjoy. So that's English Christmas cake. While Adrian is still enjoying that, we're going to move on to something on this side of the table. This is a chocolate Christmas log. Now, this is a bit different from the others because the recipe comes from France. And you might say, well, what's a French recipe doing in English Christmas food? But the fact is, the recipe was so popular that it crossed into many countries and people enjoy it in England today. So, what this is is a flat sponge filled with chocolate cream and then rolled up into this log shape. And 
this has been smelling so chocolatey. It's been like a, a hurricane of chocolate smell blasting at us all evening. I can't wait to try some. I know I've got a bit of mince pie left. But Martin, what is a Yuletide log? Okay, so while I explain that, I know you're keen to try some more cake, so if you do that. So, it's called either a chocolate Christmas log or a Yuletide Christmas cake or a Yuletide Christmas log. Mm. That's because before Christmas, people used to celebrate a festival called Yule. And in that time, it was in the middle of the winter, again, people had a different set of customs and they had a ceremony where they had a Yule log. A log is from a tree. It's wood from a tree. And they had a special Yule log and they would burn it in a ceremony. Now, of course, today we have Christmas and we don't sit around just burning logs for a ceremony. We don't do that in England anymore. But we do enjoy this delicious cake, which is fun to make. It's fun to decorate, as you can see, lots of beautiful decoration on this cake. And of course, it's a big hit because I think everybody loves chocolate. It, it tastes really chocolatey. I wanted to say you will like it too. So next on our table of exciting, really delicious desserts mm, mm. is this item here. Adrian, can you, can you describe this item? I'm going to tilt it carefully towards the camera. What's this? Okay, this came out of the fridge. It's a layer of cream above a layer of custard and then fruits in jelly. And these are strawberries in this dessert that we call a trifle. So this is a trifle and it's really, really traditional. It's been around for centuries. This one won't last too much longer. <laughs> Martin, you said you wanted to try some. Will you have a go? I will try some in the name of science. Good man. <laughs> Here we go. I remembered being little and eating these at parties and they've been, I think, in and out of fashion, certainly in my lifetime and also in Martin's. But what's not to like? Cold, wibbly wobbly jelly with fruit and cream and custard. I think jelly has always been a childhood favourite and it's very popular in the UK. Hugely popular. How is it? It's very nice. Yeah, the jelly is sweet. It's fun. It's colourful. It's definitely a celebration item. I'm not one for cream or else I'd join in. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think I'll continue with my mince pie. And I was going to suggest we sped up the film. OK, we'll continue. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep on going. So, Aidan, you can, of course, have another bite if you want. Thanks. You have another bite and relax and enjoy it. So we've just had some delicious trifle. We've seen the chocolate uh, Christmas log. We've enjoyed the English Christmas cake. And we've had a delicious mince pie. You have. Mm, mm. That brings us to a really special item on the table. And that's Christmas pudding. Adrian. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's a thing of beauty, of wonder. So beautiful. You'd think. How is it different to a Christmas cake? Because it's because, sorry, because you'd think, how is this different to a Christmas cake? Because in the Christmas pudding, there are spiced fruits and sugar. Martin, have you got an answer for us? Yes, I have. So Adrian is absolutely right. The ingredients of the Christmas pudding are fruity and rich, just like the Christmas cake. But a cake you bake in the oven, maybe for an hour. A Christmas pudding, you put all the ingredients together in a cloth, a pudding cloth, and you boil that pudding for many hours. It takes a long time to cook. Now, we live in the modern era, so we didn't have to cook this for hours, did we? No, we didn't. 
No, we didn't. How long did we cook this for, Adrian? Three minutes in the microwave. Wonderful. Microwaves are a fantastic invention. And this is still hot. These stay hot. When I took this from the microwave, it was hotter than the heart of the sun. And it has a wonderful warm aroma. We're really lucky. We can just breathe in, just gently breathe in that delicious smell. It's just fantastic. So, shall we carve it? Let's do that. Okay, I have for this a rather large knife. May I please, Martin? Of thank course, you. yeah. Thank yep. you very much. Oh, have you, it's have, a, have you got a bowl, Adrian? Um, I'm going to add it to my plate. Okay. It's a large knife, but it's not very sharp. <laughs> so rather, instead of slicing the Christmas pudding, I've disintegrated it. Okay. May I have some disintegrated Christmas pudding, please? Of course, you may. Um, Thank you. Next time, I'll just bring my claw hammer. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Aidan. That's really good. And I'll follow on. Okay. Because I haven't eaten much dessert this evening. Can you manage? Just about. Okay, so add that to the pile of fun. So as you can see, inside the Christmas pudding, there's lots of fruit and it crumbles very nicely. Now, it's hot, it's very rich, and there is something exciting we can eat with the Christmas pudding. Now I'm going to offer it to Adrian as well. It's custard. So custard is this beautiful yellow sauce, a little bit like vanilla sauce. So I'm going to lift some out of the bowl. Adrian, can I offer you some custard? You may, but no thank you. I'll eat my Christmas pudding without any custard. Okay, now I'm a big fan of custard, this sweet yellow sauce. So I'm going to have a little bit of custard with my Christmas pudding. Here we go. Okay, so I'll put that down there. And here you see, on this side, Christmas pudding with some delicious yellow custard on top. Adrian, do you want to try some? Tell us what you think. I'd love to. Please, may you pass me a little spoon? A little spoon. Where's a little spoon, Adrian? <laughs> We're out of it, spoons. It wasn't so little that I could have inhaled it. I don't think so. Would you like to just crumble off a little piece with your fingers and enjoy it like that? It's a little bit prehistoric, but it will work. It's hot. <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> So the Christmas pudding is very hot. I'm lucky I've got a spoon here actually for me. Mm. That was my spoon. Okay, so here it is. Mm. The Christmas pudding is gorgeous. It's not too spicy, mm. but it's making me sweat. Yeah. I'm glowing. It's a delicious warm flavour and it actually gives a real feeling of satisfaction and makes you feel warm on the inside. And with that note, we'd really like to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. Uh, full of food and friends, I wanted to say. That's right. And of course, we'd like to wish you a very happy new year ahead. <laughs>